I said there were some kids here who've tried to communicate with other kids their fears and their anxieties and their education. I'd like you to meet a young woman now whose name is Carrie. And she is going to play at this moment another young woman named Jessie. Carrie? Eric is this guy I'm going with. He's so perfect. Curly brown hair, green eyes, tall, built, 22. When he comes to pick me up at school, every girl's head turns. I throw my bag in the back seat, hop in the front with him, and when everybody else has to take the train or the bus home, I get driven wherever I want. I mean, we do everything together. I lost it with Eric. He's the reason why I'm here in this doctor's office. I'm here to take some kind of AIDS test that I don't really know much about. See, Eric was a drug dealer, and I knew that, because the money had to come from somewhere, the earrings, the ring. But what I didn't know was that Eric was shooting up. He was taking his own drugs. So um, a friend of mine told me that she heard Eric had AIDS or HIV or something. But it didn't hit me until this counselor came to my school and she started talking about AIDS and HIV and unprotected sex. And I realized that when we did it, we didn't use anything. Because he told me that he would take care of everything, that to trust him. So I called him and basically he said, don't worry about it, Jesse. I'm not worried about it. Which basically means that he's not worried about me. I mean, I thought he loved me. He said that he loved me. How am I supposed to deal with this? I'm only 14. I mean, who can I talk to about this? I don't know how to reach the counselor that came to my school. I can't talk to my mother. She'd kick me out the house. If I told my friends, they would think I was a slut. I don't even understand this pamphlet that I got. It says if you test positive, you may or may not get AIDS. I mean, what does all this mean? It's so confusing. I just, I gotta get out of here.